Alright, welcome back to Haley is a dumb idiot. No. Um, we're doing easy, no AI. If you didn't watch the first episode, go watch that. Um, I didn't even participate in Final Jeopardy because I kept guessing and I kept guessing wrong because I'm dumb. So I tried to help you with Shakespeare and I couldn't. So. But it's okay. Anyways, I'm hoping for better categories. Let's let's see what the categories this are. This one will go better. What are the categories, Alex? Here come the clues in these categories. Yes. Animals. Okay. Trading places. I don't know. Book learning. Probably not. Tennis. Okay. okay. Historic amours. Nope. And the short form. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Words? What do I have no chance at? Historic amours. I don't even know what that know what that this means. Dictator's rumored love with Pompey's wife was even riskier <sighs> Nope. <laughs> You are on your own for this category. I have uh, no idea. This thing with Cleopatra, so I'm gonna guess Mark Antony. Isn't it Anthony? Juliet Caesar was the. Well, yeah, I was thinking Juliet. Maybe I'm not gonna go ahead and start guessing already. Juliet Caesar was the dictator. Mark Antony was Cleopatra's the other guy. girlfriend, the actual boyfriend, first... wife, husband, person. <laughs> I, I don't know. <gasps> No, I only know one great, and it's Alex the Great, and I don't think that's that. I don't think it's. A... I don't think it is. <laughs> if Alex See, says Alex, if Alex Trebek says Alex the Great, I'm gonna slam this controller down. Hi, Oak Terrace. Thanks for putting no. your face. Okay, thank goodness. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna mention Oak Terrace. I, I mentioned Oak Terrace in our videos. Our loud neighbors. <sighs> Sun King. Oh! oh no i know i know i know no the person i'm thinking of was the god of the song sun here's the correct response louis the 14th. yeah no that's not who i was thinking of oh i heard him you can louis sim louis Bothwell led the plot to murder this queen's second um what queen the there's uh, like a bunch of queen elizabeths so is it elizabeth well <laughs> oh could be mary queen of scots I've never even heard of Anne of Leaves. Right. Dang it. <sighs> Portsmouth? The, the British one. <laughs> There's a British Portsmouth and a British Norfolk? Yes. Is there a Brit? Wait, there is a British Hampton. Yes. There? Yeah. <laughs> and I think Suffolk has if a you... British place too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. If you didn't watch the last episode, we're going back to Virginia. <laughs> For, like, a little one-week-long vacay thing in June. All right. Uh, let's do the Trading Places one. Okay. I don't know that one either. <gasps> oh, what city has that <laughs> Oh, thing? the Golden Arches. It's the city of McDonald. Oh. St. Louis. I've been in the arch before. It's scary, especially when you're leaning to look at down in the window. I've been in the arch twice. Well, in my school once, then I went on a family vacation. Uh, this type of animal, a sight. Rossmark trading. Sheep. Oh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. For like the Kentucky Doyby. Oh. The Kanembornu Empire lasted a thousand years by being a center of trade. I'm good. No, I'm not gonna guess. Guessing gets me in bad places. <laughs> in the red and the negative. Sorry if that was loud. My guess is Asia, but it's probably wrong. Africa. Yep, Africa. glad I didn't guess. Just the way. Cheese did come to cuddle me after I cried. <laughs> not cry. Sultan. Bazaar. Sul Sultan. That's southern India. Yes. Somewhere it's in the... that area. Yes, it's the thing. Istanbul. Yeah, well. Constantinople. Istan Take me back to Constantinople. No, we can't go back to Constantinople. What? Oh, that sounds fancy. <laughs> oh, what do you do for a living? I'm a member of the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. <laughs> oh, I don't Gotta know. Gotta get them butter and eggs. Here's the response you were looking for. Chicago Mercantile. 
Okay. Layer one, back to you for our next Oh, I'm okay, good, I'm selecting. Um I'm probably not gonna do good in this kind of Oh! A mere 127 years later, her a long fatal love chase arrived. She lived 127 <laughs> Louisa May Alcott. I didn't think so. Thanks to Jeopardy, I knew that Louisa May Alcott wrote Little Woman, even though I thought it was um, Jane Austen. <laughs> In addition to 20, under the oh. Oh. He wrote oh. Story on the Civil War. No, I don't know. North I don't know this one. It's Is this um, George Orwell? No. See? I'm... It's Jules Ooh. Verne? Yes. I was going to guess H.G. Wells. Who was H.G. Wells? He did War of the Worlds. Oh. Okay. Is this d d d d the guy I just mentioned? Yes, it is. Animal Farm. <laughs> See, I forgot who I just mentioned. I can't play Jeopardy. I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm. I know that one. I don't know who wrote it, though. Mm, yeah. A Bump in a Road inspired a story. I had a dream that inspired a story once. I forgot what it was about. <laughs> I write a lot. <laughs> oh, crap. I didn't go to the office today and tell them I wanted to be in the book club. Or in the writing club. The... Uh... Oh, I don't know who wrote it. I've heard of it, but I don't know who wrote it. I heard of that. that name. Tolstoy. Okay. Oh, it's you. Uh, let's do this short form. Bench presses build up the text. <gasps> Dang it! I need... Okay, you need... You won the last game. Look, at you're a thousand ahead of me. I need... I need... I need, I need... The House Historical Dictionary of American Slang has an 1896 citation of diff, D-I-F-F, as short for... Is it... Now, this could be a trick. Is it different? Difference? Oh, difference, maybe. Okay, that's what I was thinking. But then I was like, it could be difference or different. But. Um. I want to say radical, but that's not. Oh, maybe it is. Radical, radial, radiant. Radical. Radical, dude. <laughs> Radical, dude. All right. Oh. I might risk it all because I'm... A true daily double. <gasps> A conversation? Conversation. Yeah, I want to make sure I have the right thing. Yes. Woohoo! Achievement unlocked! A true daily double. Thank goodness. One of the perks of my job is knowing that perk, meaning a benefit, per is short for this. I don't know this one. I didn't know perk was short for anything. A perk. I don't know. Unless it's like a positive thing, because a perk is like a pro. Okay, no. Oh, I've heard that word before. I haven't. We return to you, player one. Alright. Animal. Well, no, let's do tennis. I don't like tennis. I mean, I like tennis, but the I don't like. This event is a sterling silver tray called the Rosewater Dish. This event, Wimbledon. Yes, player one. That's my guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I sound smarter in this episode than the last one. ITF Team Championship for men. ITF Team International Tennis Foundation. It's what it's the trophy the, is. The, the cup. Not the cup. the cup. Yes, it is a cup. I'm mad. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit your knee. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. To hit one of these mid-air return strokes, punch at the ball, keeping the racket in front of your body and the racket face perpendicular to the court. That's called a return. Oh. Hey. Valley. Yes. Dang it. I was hoping you were going to change your mind last second. Okay, let's get back into this. Player 
I play tennis. Despite the American's 1984 winning percentage of 965, it's the best in the ATP Tour's modern era. Mm. I'm gonna give that a go. Feisty, it's gotta be this guy. Okay, never heard of him. He's the one that gets angry at people and like throws his racket and oh. hits the judge person above oh. the thing with his racket. It's fun to watch some freak out sometimes. Who's the greatest tennis player? Or who's there's a lot of Swiss tennis players. Federer is my guess, but I'm not risking it. Here's what we were looking for. Roger <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> I do this Federer. all. I do this all the time. I will guess and I'll guess right and I won't guess. I just got short of breath. <laughs> it's your turn. I can't oh, move. I do have to pick. Animals. One in every Is it the Amazon? The Olympic rainforest? <laughs> whoop whoop. Oh, is it dogs or cats or monkeys? Oh, wow, this is really helpful. <sighs> I want to say monkey. Oh, dogs was my first thought, but then it was cats and then it was monkeys. Okay, good. Dogs went to space first. <laughs> I guess all and then the monkeys. Oh. I know somebody that had a pet one of these. A pet skunk. You just take out their smelly sack. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. That's Iguanodon? Mastodon. I've heard that word before. Yeah. See, this is how I normally go with a Jeopardy game. But the last episode was just so bad. Oh, mole? No. Dash hound. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mole was my first thought, but it might be badger or go mole. You stick with mole. Oh. No! <sighs> See, this is how it goes during regular Jeopardy. <laughs> German, so I'm going to go with gopher. Oh, okay. badger. Batches, 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 batches. Oh, my wrist. My wrist. <laughs> my wrist. My neck. Hmm. Okay. We skipped mini games because mini games just kind of. All right. Let's not skip it. Let's see what the categories are. Which of the categories? I'm trying to. We're 13 minutes in. Okay. Tea time. Tea okay. time. Okay. No. Uh, what the heck is your? I don't know what that is. It's something. Possibly. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Your phone is ringing. Of course it is. I'll get back. Sitka. I'll get. And you know what an archipelago is, right? It's the little, no. the little. It's like Florida's archipelago is the little thing that goes down. Yes. <laughs> I'll get to that phone eventually. <laughs> <laughs> the Cook Islands. Oh, this could. Oh, now we gotta think of countries with an archipelago. No. <laughs> Oh. Also for a breed of dog. Um. Scottish. Oh. Is it. New. Yes, player one. Oh. Mm -hmm. The. Collie Island sounds right. Oh, nope. Know. If it sounds right, it's wrong. Anyone That's what I've learned from playing Jeopardy. I don't I have, have any idea. I've set my controller down. <laughs> I've accepted my loss. I okay. don't know anything about archipelago. That's like, the, you know. The thing. No, like the Shetland sheepdog. That was also in my mind. 
Uh, sorry we don't bounce around the board. We like just stick into one category until it's over. Oh, oh, oh. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Okay, I don't know what that is. Gary Marshall, the director of Happy Days. Okay. I don't know how you... Anyway. I know old shows. Not only do you know old shows, you know old directors. I'm... I'm a nerd when it comes to film stuff, but... Portuguese are... Gary Marshall. Okay. You, you remember in Hocus Pocus, the bus driver? Yes. That's Gary Marshall. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. I might also be wrong and be mocked about that, but you know. <laughs> well, if you knew it straight away... I'm like, pretty yeah, sure that's is. Gary Marshall. Uh. Um, no, it's not the bus driver. It's the... <sighs> Sunshar is half-horse. It's the devil that the witches go to this house. That's... Oh! Player one. Yep. Every 500 years or so, this bird was reborn from his own ancestors. The phoenix. Yes, player one. Because mm. the phoenix rising from the ashes. I don't know how I know that. Player one. <laughs> oh, Great. Oh. All right, you know what? I'll risk a thousand since you're at forty-six hundred. Oh, great! Oh, it was in Once Upon a Time. What? Oh no, no, it's not. One of them was in Once Upon a Time. Dragon? I don't know. Is this in the Hercules Disney movie? Because I haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess a random one. Yeah. Ogres. I was gonna guess dragon too. Yep. See, that was not. This is not. <sighs> oh, I've heard of that before, but I don't know what it. This Ler Lernian serpent. Oh, what kind of serpent? I know the serpents. Yes, oh, the I... Thessal Hydra from Stranger <sighs> Things. Yes, I know. The Hydra logo from Marvel. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sea monster. She. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> Celia. That's. That looked right. Yes. Because in, from Monsters Inc., he was named after. Wow. From Monsters Inc. Uh. You're moving. Tea time. It's the tea in ATM. For physicist Edward. <laughs> oh. Yes, player one. Taylor. Whoop whoop. A lot of food. It can mean to veer or to go sour. Ooh. To spoil. Okay, player one. Oh. No. It has turn. To start with T. Twist. <laughs> yeah, when you veer, you turn. It has to start with T. <laughs> yes. Another name for a billy club or a policeman's baton. Um, what's a the word? Tur, a tour, you tur, tur, tur. Tomahawk. I think. Shoot. Why does um, this name sound familiar? Some guy just fo started following me on Twitter and his name sounds familiar. Um, tourniquet is the thing you wrap around when you bleed, so I think it's that one. Okay. No, it's not. It's a tourniquet. Okay. Some big singer just followed me. Mikey Wax? Don't know that one. I don't know, Pick but Scott from Pentatonix follows him, so somebody that... Okay. <laughs> Um. A cast. You put a cast if you have a. I'm upset. <laughs> Upsetty spaghetti. Yeah. It's the process of transference of a soul into another body at death. Um. What do you call it? Um. Transcend that word. Is it transmigration? 
Because when you migrate, you fly south for the winter. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making up dumb answers so I sound smart. Hey, hey you're right. right. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what this Oscar winners of your means, so... Nope. <laughs> 1941, I don't know it. Wait, well, See, that's the thing family. about... That's, a bad, that's the thing about Jeopardy. They do old stuff. If they have, like, a modern day... I've never heard of it. If they have, like, a modern day Jeopardy where they ask about modern stuff... Even from the 90s and forward. <sighs> this is... This is Doubtfire? Well, this is Doubtfire. That one. Oh. That was a complete guess. Yeah. Uh, Buttons the Clown. Why does that sound familiar? I've only seen like three Jimmy Stewart movies, and I don't remember one. I'm Ooh. going for it. <sighs> I think it's. I will guess because I'm dumb. I'll guess the greatest show on earth. That might be it, because that's the only other one I know is a movie. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! I'm ahead for now. What? I've heard that phrase These are before. All old, old things. I've heard the phrase before because I was like, that didn't make any sense. Now oh. you'll lose a weekend if you drink on your oh, mm. Nope. Wish we could use the B button to like pass, but we can't. Yeah, you can if you only play with one person. Here's the response we're looking for. Gentlemen's agreement. Never heard of it. Alright, it's not ancient history, even though it probably is. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I remember when this happened. Is this... Oh, Haiti. Who hosted the 2010 Winter Olympics? Winter Olympics. Canada. Whatever that sound is. I'm not quite sure. But I can't remember the name. United States, Canada, Mexico. Whatever that song is. And the Maniacs. Oh. Yeah, no. I don't know what this is either. I'm just not good. It's not ancient history. You guess. Stop cuddling with the cheese. He jumped on me. I Cheesy, had to... come here. Ow. Cheesy. Your neck. Neck pain. Your shoulder. Come here. Yeah, come here. Give me some pets. We made cheese go for a walk today. It was really nice outside. He it. scratched me up so bad on my arm and my neck because some child ran down the stairs and, um, was taking his dog outside and I was sitting there waiting for him to go outside but he was just sitting there staring at the cheese and I was like dude leave go so my cat stops attacking me he finally ran outside and I was like finally <sighs> okay hi okay he's mad <laughs> um I don't know what is you in pain? A little bit. <sighs> oh. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. You good? Your neck hurt? It's bad. Are we sitting for too long? What? The large bee of the genus Bombus. From Tierra del Fuego in South America, far beyond the Arctic Circle. 
I don't know. A bumblebee. Can bumblebees live in the Arctic? Bumblebee. <laughs> this happened. This, this, I'm, I'm so upset. <laughs> Especially for early questions like this. Polar bears. Polar bears are well equipped for Arctic weather. Not only do they have thick fur and layer of insulating fat, but their skin is this color, which helps it absorb the sun's rays. Their skin is... Let's hear it, layer one. Ooh. I heard pink. I know what's pink, but also black absorbs the sun really well. So do they have pink skin? I want to say black, because that's the one that... I thought they had pink skin, but... Black absorbs the sun the most. Arctic deer. Oh, what are some... You're good at beat beauties, Jenny. That maybe it depends on how much I risk during Final Jeopardy and if you get it right. Here's what we were looking for. Caribou. Caribou? Caribou? <laughs> Caribous are deer? Yes. I thought they were moose. Greenland white whales have the longest of these thin plates. Thin plates? A fin? A thin plate? Well, I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, I don't have any idea. What Ugh. As fall turns to winter, the Arctic list, a lagopus, produces less pigment than changes from brown to white. Penguin? Yes, layer one. Oh, the Arctic hare? Fox. Hare or fox? I've heard of Arctic foxes, but not Arctic hares. Woo! Oh my! I didn't notice how far ahead I was of you. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's the final Jeopardy question? <sighs> what kind of artist? Like art artists or like music artists <sighs> all right so a writer i know that name yeah i know this name <laughs> that's the only one i've heard of Yep, that's the only name I heard of. <laughs> <sighs> I think I only risked 2,000. Should have risked 2,400. Oh, I only risked 200! What? I meant to risk 2,000! I am upset. <laughs> but it's okay, because I still won. And, and I never win Jeopardy. You have before. Once. <laughs> I have once. All right. Um, next up on our channel will probably be the vlog of me going to Hairball, so stay tuned for that, and we will see you later. Bye! Okay. Say bye, cheese! He's taking a nap. <laughs>